Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. Today I'm going to take a quick look at one of my favorite companies. This is C Limited. This is one of my top five positions. I believe it's my number three position in my portfolio right now. And the stock price is doing pretty, pretty strong. It's up about 3.48%. So on today's episode, I want to take a quick look at what are some recent news. C Limited is expanding into new markets. Just a quick talk about some of the upgrades they're coming out with their super popular Free Fire game and just share my overall thoughts. If this is your first time here, guys. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and make sure to hit the subscribe button. Now let's get started. So for those not familiar with C Limited, right? They are pretty much the three-headed dragon. They deal with the digital entertainment. This is the gaming. And it's mainly known for their Free Fire game that is doing amazing numbers worldwide. The second is their e-commerce solution. This is Shopee. And this is kind of expanding into new markets. We're going to take a quick look at that. And finally, is their fintech market. This is C Money. And a, a pretty impressive market. To me, my two favorites right now are Garena, followed by Shopee, then by C Limited. So for those not familiar with the stock, the stock is traded under the New York Stock Exchange as ticker SE. The stock price has done amazing. The past 52 weeks, the stock has returned 117%. It, it's been a beast, and we're obviously going to talk about some of the valuation talks later on to just share my thoughts of where I think the stock price is at right now. But a market cap of 178 billion dollars so the first thing i want to take a quick look at is shopee dips into uh on august 30th of 2021 reports have come out that shopee dips its toe into india e-commerce market with seller recruitment campaign but before we take a quick look at this expansion into india let's take a quick listen to today's sponsor a great reason why i'm able to provide so much content to you guys for free i want to thank the motley fool for sponsoring this video motley fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels you guys know i love finding new investing tools and resources to help me scout out new growth stocks and right now i have a discount for one of my favorite services the fool offers through the motley fool stock advisor services you get access to ton of expert stock picks every month you'll get two new picks that are aimed at growing your wealth and to help you realize your financial goals stock advisors average stock picks have done amazing returns if growing your money is something you'd like to do more of this year, you can visit fool.com slash Jose Naharo or click on the link below for access to my special offer and decide if the stack advisor is right for you. Thanks again to The Motley Fool and now on to today's video. Now they're expanding into India and we're going to see why this makes perfect sense. So Sh Shopee has launched a recruitment campaign for sellers to sell on Shopee India and it's ramping up hiring in the country according to YouTube videos and LinkedIn postings. This is reported by the Reuters. Now, this is one thing I want to say how Shopee does or C Limited does really great at kind of moving into new markets. Um, the promises is first due to a lot of coupons, credits or stuff like promises, free shipping and no commission fees for sellers and buyers. The first thing they want to do is make sure they grab as much users as they can and how they're going to do that. They're going to do that with the free shipping and with no commission. The second way they do this is because they have already developed a strong movement in, in uh, India right now. So if we take a look at the top apps on Google Play, India overall for August 29th of 2021, if we're taking a look at Google Play, the number one grossing application in India right now is Garena. And Garena Free Fire is the platform, the game, the, the main game from C Limited. So what does how does C Limited use this to its advantage? So now that India already has a strong portion of users kind of playing Free Fire, what C Limited will do is now they're going to start promoting their Shopee application on their Free Fire. They're going to be like, hey, guys, if you want to go download Shopee application right now, we'll give you a free game item. We'll give you a free something for the in-game, which is going to drive a lot of new users to that Shopee application and make it a huge, huge platform. Uh, so it's very interesting. Obviously, this ends up costing money for the company, but because they have this gaming platform, right? The gaming platform is their cash cow for C Limited. It allows them to do a lot of incentives for some of these other platforms like their e-commerce platforms to drive customers. Because if they didn't have, for example, this free fire game or this gaming content, they wouldn't be able to give as much incentives as they, as they do now. And if 
they did, this company would be broke in no time. Um, but because of Free Fire, it continues to do strong numbers. If we take a look, right? I mean, Free Fire is one of the highest grossing in the United States for August 29th of, of 2021. If we take a look in Brazil, Brazil, Garena Free Fire is the number one grossing game and the free top number two downloaded game on, on, globe, on Brazil. So overall, the huge strength of C Limited right now. Um, so I also wanted to take a quick look at their free fire game so c limited has recently announced an upgraded version of their free fire game and this is called free fire max the first thing i was wondering hey free fire max is, is this gonna be a second portion of the game is it gonna allow crossplay with its main game the first thing the last thing i would want c limited to do is kind of dilute their users into different applications and that's not what they're doing. So I'm liking that. Free Fire, even though it's two different games from Free Fire Max and Free Fire Game and the original Free Fire, they will be able to crossplay against each other. So it's not by any means diluting any type of users from one application to another. So that's a great move. The main differences between Free Fire and Free Fire Max is the overall graphics. It's gonna be better overall, better graphics in Free Fire Max compared to Free Fire. So for those that enjoy better graphics or just better aesthetics on the game they're really gonna enjoy free fire max obviously that comes with some form of downside it's gonna take more memory on phones it's gonna require stronger processors than normally intended but that's why i was worried about um the diluting of users but i'm happy to to know that hey these are gonna be able to cross play so it's not gonna really dilute users and whatever users can play they can continue to do and still continue to build up the overall game uh the overall gaming experience for C Limited and Free Fire. So now the final thing I want to take a quick look at is this company's stock price. This stock price is C Limited is one that continues to run up. And this is why I believe it's important if one is ever bullish in a company to sometimes even dollar cost average. Dollar cost average allows one to invest, um, invest, uh, invest even when the stock prices are high, but because you don't enter with a strong, strong initial value at once, valuations doesn't really play a hard case um for example c limited with the stock price being a bit overextended i personally wouldn't open up with a big big position at the moment if i was bullish in this company and i didn't have a position that would be a different story i would enter with a small position and that up over time especially here in the united states where we have free trading where we have fractional trading it really helps out with dollar cost averaging I do believe there have been better up better buying opportunities for C Limited. At the same time, we can see for the past year and a half, this almost two years now, this has been a monster. And even though volatility in the market can go either way, I'm still enjoying. I have no intentions of selling. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Take care. Have a good night and see you next time.